Good Sunday to you, meteorologist Chad Franz at First Alert Weather Center. Still looking at a small chance for a spotty drip for the early evening time frame Sunday, then possibly again for Monday in the late afternoon. More on that in a moment. We finally hit the mid-70s, upper 70s today, close to 80 in some locations. That's within 2 or 3 degrees of where we should be for this time of year and a noticeably much warmer day compared to Saturday. Now, northern lights right now still suspect as whether we're going to see those tonight. Now, they were out uh, about 3 o'clock in the morning, early Sunday morning. Had the dogs out, saw just a little bit of them, but I was more so intrigued by the Perseid meter shower, which will peak before daybreak on Monday. Uh, earlier this morning, they were 50 to 75 per hour on the estimates, and going into early Monday morning before dawn, uh, some of the estimates are close to 100 meteors per hour. So that doesn't mean you're going to see them on average, right? But there are some areas that you can go to make it easier for you to see these and in a very short period of time. First thing is outside city limits. Second thing is being away from any other light source. And then the third thing is, is looking off to the north-northeast sky and uh, probably about 30 degrees in the air. You're going to find the constellation of Perseus and they originate just north of there. I shouldn't say north. It's actually well, kind of north, but just on top of that. So look in that area first, and as your eyes are adjusting after a few minutes, you'll see a lot more of those. Then you can start kind of branching out. When I started looking this morning, I have trees in that northeastern quadrant, so I was actually looking off to the north. Took five minutes or so. Murphy was having a good time. Heinz doing God knows what. Uh, but then I could actually start seeing them straight. So this is easy enough to see them with the visible and naked eye. Um, the clouds the last couple of nights that have hampered a little bit of northern lights in addition to some of that geomagnetic storm not being as strong, the clouds are not going to be too much of an issue for tonight. So certainly worth a gander. The activity for the northern lights, if we're able to see them tonight, will be toward midnight and thereafter. The Perseid meteor showers will be seen a little bit before then, but they really pick up in intensity and the brightness after 2 o'clock in the morning through about 5 in the morning until the sun starts coming up on Monday. So a little bit of... Um, little wadering there of what to expect in the night skies. But a kind of a cool event, and then the, the moon is about 25% illuminated, so this should make it a pretty good event uh, for the Northern Lights again suspect, but more so the Perseid meteor showers. Have a look at them for daybreak on Monday. Then throughout the day, Monday, there will be a small chance for a handful of isolated showers or thunder showers after 4 o'clock in the north woods. They may get as far south as Wausau between 5 and 7. I don't think they'll ever get as far south as Point, but you get the drift. This is a warm front coming in, and things are going to warm up for a good portion of this week. High temperatures back in the low 80s, and we'll flirt with the lower to middle 80s until we get around to our next storm system, which is Thursday. So the cool jet stream pattern leaves us, and then by the time we get around to the middle of the week, we start to see the ridging off to the west, and we'll get some more uh, storm systems to come through. So we'll get that dip in the jet stream for Friday and Saturday. That'll keep temperatures in the middle, lower to middle 70s, once again here in Wisconsin. Then Sunday into early next week, the ridge builds off to the west and more heat on the way. Primarily high temperatures for um, here on out. You're looking at mostly the upper 70s and lower 80s. It will cool off, though, a little bit more on Friday and Saturday due to cloud cover and the shower and storm chances. Hope you're having yourselves an awesome, fabulous weekend. Stay tuned for more updates. And don't forget, Perseids will be seen after midnight tonight and especially before daybreak on Monday. If you do capture some with cameras, I'm not very good with camera. If you do capture some, we'd love to see them. WSAW.com slash UGC. It's called user-generated user content. Or you can just get it right off our weather app, First Alert weather app, or First Alert news app. Have yourselves an awesome time.